Welcome back YouTube. Today, my Camaro needs an oil change. So, first things first, take the oil cap off. Makes it drain a whole lot better. Put it in a place you feel like you're not gonna forget it, because if you do, then you're gonna have a lot of oil when you start running your car. So go ahead and put that in a safe place. All right, and these are all the things that I have for it. Uh, socket set, just so you can get that plug off. Uh, if the filter is uh, really tough to get on there. I've got the filter pliers to get out a nice little funnel uh, Something to put the old oil into some rags if I need it and of course the main attraction the oil and the filter so over here I've already got it jacked up A lot of places for you to jack up the vehicle. I jacked it up right there, and I've also got both of those a lot easier to pop it up on the side than it is the front because if you look under here oh, let me get down here and if you look that's where the plug is right there I can get my hand plugs right there and the filter is right there that's a little better shot that one and that one and that's what you're going under there for all right now that I'm under the car that bolt right there is going to be a 9 16th, so loosen that up. Make sure you have your drain pan where you need it by the time you loosen it up. Um, make sure you catch it all. Gotta catch it all! Boy, yo. And as it's draining, you can go ahead, take your oil filter out. Right is tight, left is loose. Um, for any other model, your Camaro, I'm pretty sure it's the same. Um, for other vehicles, it might be in through the top. Same thing, orient yourself above it, wherever it's turned in. And that's still going. I like to wait until it starts to come to a drip. Even then, give it a little while, try to get all the oil out as I can. So that's what I'm going to do now, is take that out, turn it left. It should be hand-tightened, but over time, it may not be hand-tightened anymore. So when you put the new one in, You'll hand tighten it, but we'll get there when we get there. Alright, so I finally got this thing loose. The thing was definitely not hand tightened on there. But I had to get my little tool over here. Tighten it up as much as I could from the bottom, because there's really no way down here to get a good side grip and actually do that. So I had to come in, come in through the bottom and try to go in sideways. If you dent it or ruin it, it really doesn't matter because you're replacing it, so... I only dented a little bit of the bottom. And, uh, that's what we're doing. And if there are any drips here, which there shouldn't be, I still have my drip pan down here because I'm still getting dribbles from that. So, yep, there we go, starting to drip. So, move that over there, and, uh, I'm gonna twist this off. Okay, now that I have taking that off up there. I got a rag and went around the sides of it to get any kind of debris that might be in there. Metal shards because this still is a new engine so uh, I cleaned that off a little bit. I put the plug back in, just hand tightened it. So now we need to get the new filter ready to go in. So grab your new filter and up at the top get some oil and go around the rubber seal so you have a good seal when you go in and because this is going in installing from the bottom to the top fill this up with oil so there's already oil in there before you even start the engine so I just uh, just put some oil around there and I also filled it up it takes actually quite a bit and now just get to screw it up in there remember hand tight as tight as you can with your hand so when next time when you do this you don't have to worry about breaking it off. All right, now that we're back up here on the surface, grab your funnel. Trust me, a funnel will definitely help. Uh, grab a funnel, put it in where we just took that cap out. I did have it up there. Um, so take that out and start filling it up with oil. Depending on how much or how big your engine is, is 
how much oil you put put in there. This is a 5.7 and this is a 5 liter. That's why I had two over there. So once you start feeling like it's getting full, let it sit for a second and then go to your dipstick, which mine is down there. Check your dipstick and see if it's at the correct level. All right, so from what it looks like from the dipstick, it looks like this is nice and full. So I'm going to put the oil cap back on. Now I'm going to run the engine for a few minutes, maybe five or ten minutes, get it warmed up, get everything circulated, and then check it again. Well, now that I have checked it once it is nice and warm and is at the proper level, make sure your oil cap is back on, make sure your dipstick is back in, make sure everything is tightened underneath the plug, make sure that you have everything from underneath your car before you put it down on the jacks. Uh, another good note, put it down on the jack so everything levels out because uh, you're trying to do this on as level of surface as you can when you're filling this and trying to measure the level when adding oil. So as long as everything's level, everything fills up, you've got everything out of the way, your oil change is done.